everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between feeling low and clin clinical depression, and I will talk about my experience with clinical depression um, from a very young age. Um, a general low mood can include sadness, feeling anxious or panicky, worry, um, tiredness, low self-esteem, frustration and anger. Um, however, a low mood tends to lift after a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Um, a low mood that doesn't go away can be a sign of depression. Um, symptoms of depression can include a low mood lasting two weeks or more, um, not getting any enjoyment out of life at all, um, feeling tired or lacking energy, um, not being able to concentrate on everyday things like reading a newspaper or watching television tends to be quite a strong one with many, many clinical depressed people. Um, comfort eating or losing your appetite is another really strong one. Um, I myself have um, the lack of appetite since I was very young. Um, I don't eat very much and things. Um, sleeping more than usual um, can be um, quite a strong sign where if you're sleeping like all day and all night and just constantly feel tired and just constantly want to sleep or not being able to sleep which is one of the effects I have, um, I'm not able to sleep at all. I will go three, four, five days without sleeping and then finally sleep obviously. Um, but yeah that seems to be quite common. Um, having suicidal thoughts or thoughts about harming yourself, that's one of the things um, again that is quite strong with clinical depression. Um, I myself have experienced that side of things and I will tell you about it in a minute. Um, now I'm going to talk about my experience with clinical depression and how I've dealt with it and how I am now compared to what I was. Um, I wasn't diagnosed with depression until I was 16 um, and that was only after my sixth suicidal attempt but I had depression since I was nine um, at nine was when I made my first suicide attempt I held a knife against my stomach a big butcher's knife against my stomach and started to slice across um, it was my mum at the time who managed to stop me um, otherwise I might not be here today. Um, my next attempt was um, when I was 11 in front of my best friend who coincidentally is still my best friend now and this is 20 years on. Um, and she was a lot smaller than, than me at the time and I honestly don't know how she managed to do this but she managed to pull me off a bridge to stop me from jumping in front of a train. Um, I don't have a clue how she managed to do it and she doesn't even know where she got that strength from but luckily she did. Um, I've made countless suicide attempts and I've come close to dying a few times. I've had to have my stomach pumped, I've had to have my wrist stitched up and things. Um, I've and I've always managed to pull through is that fate was I don't know, but I always managed to pull through, no matter how severe the attempt was. Um, and I always got told, until I was about 16, that it was just for attention. I wasn't doing it to hurt myself, it was just attention, when clearly it wasn't. I was in deep turmoil, and I couldn't understand everything that was going on in my life at the time. Um, and it was my way... I just wanted to be gone. I didn't want to be here anymore. I couldn't. I just didn't want to live anymore, basically. 
Um, I went to see countless so-called specialists like therapists, a CPN, um, psychiatrists, psychologists, and none of them seemed to help. Um, they always talked about me not eating and things, not the reasons why I was depressed. So I had to deal with it myself. Um, and get through it myself. Um, I had to help myself and I felt so alone and misunderstood on what was happening to me. Um, like I felt nobody understood what was going on and like nobody could help me. All that sort of stuff that comes with it. Um, now I'm 25 and finally seem to be getting over my depression. Um, don't get me wrong, it like it never really goes away. It's always in the back of your mind and it's always there. But you can get better and it becomes easier to deal with um, through experiences and through time. Um, for the last two years, my mood has been stable. Um, and I think that was because I was I was pregnant. I was about to become a mum to my gorgeous little boy. Um, and that was always a dream that I had from a very young age was becoming a mum, a parent. Um, and I didn't want to harm myself. I wanted to be there for my child. Um, it was always something that I felt that I wanted to do. That was my lifelong dream. Um, so guys, no matter how down or depressed you feel at this moment, there's always a light at the end of that very, very dark tunnel. Um, keep praying and hoping and it will get better through time. Just find something that makes you happy, something that you want to do. It could be a job goal or a life goal, just something that makes you happy and something that you are willing to keep doing. Um, and yeah, take it from there. And good luck, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.